Robert Mueller put all of the facts together for us, put all of the information together for us, and abided by the Trump administration's declaration under the Office of Legal Counsel that a sitting president cannot be indicted for his crimes. He handed it over to the Congress of the United States of America to do our constitutional duty. We are a government that works by separation of powers. We are not a government that circles the wagon around a leader and says everything else falls away. Instead, we say there are powers that are given to the president and powers that are given to Congress, and each operates as a check on the other. The information that has been given to us in the Mueller report clearly constitutes adequate information to begin an impeachment proceeding in the House of Representatives. No matter how many times Mitch McConnell or the rest of the Republicans want to wish that away, it's there in black and white in the report. I urge every Republican in this chamber, I urge every Republican and Democrat in Congress, I urge every person in this country to read the Mueller report. Robert Mueller makes clear that the President of the United States worked actively to obstruct justice. There is enough here to bring an impeachment proceeding. And fourth, for us, for this body, for Congress, to back up from that and to say that protecting the President is more important than protecting the Constitution is not only wrong, it is a violation of our oath of office. I'm here to say one more time in publicly, this is not a fight I wanted to take on, but this is the fight in front of us now. This is not about politics. This is about the Constitution of the United States of America. We took an oath not to try to protect Donald Trump. We took an oath to protect the con and serve the Constitution of the United States of America. And the way we do that is we begin impeachment proceedings now against this president.